Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Today we're going to be making a Middle Eastern style lamb and bulgur wheat. What I've got, let's have a look at the back. I've got some bulgur wheat which I've got already soaking in some water. I want to soak that for about one hour to give it a head start. I've also got some flat leaf parsley, chopped tomatoes, cumin powder, a touch of uh, lemon powder, black lemon powder, some lean lamb, no bone in there. Next to that I've got some eggplant, brinjal or aubergine, however you call that. In the front here I've got some uh, chickpeas, they're cooked already, or channa, depending again how you say that. We've also got a little bit, just a little touch of green and the red capsicum, sweet pepper. Again, so many names for stuff. Um, okay, in the front we've got some, again, zucchini or courgette, chopped. Some green chili. I've got some chopped onions. I've got some chopped garlic. I'll be using some olive oil and some beautiful lamb stock to make this dish. Let's get over to the cooker. Okay, let me start by getting some olive oil in my pan. Enough to cover the bottom, but don't be shy with the olive oil. Now into this we can add cumin and our lemon powder, black lemon powder. Our garlic. There's about two, 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 two teaspoons of garlic. Um, there's a few, like, you know, three or four small chilies, green chili. Our onion, I'm using red onion, you don't have to, you can use a white onion. Red onion is a little bit stronger and much more widely available in the Middle East for sure. And then in goes our, our lamb. So all we need to do is get this mixed. Oh, it smells fantastic already. Really good. Okay, let's pop a lid on this and then we'll come back in about five or six minutes. It's on a medium heat at the moment. Okay, let's take a look now. It's coming on beautifully. The juices are coming out of that meat. What I'm going to do now is add my uh, bulgur. So like I say, I've, uh, I've soaked already for a little while. This, like I said, this is a very coarse ground, ground uh, type. It comes in different grades. Now this is certainly not couscous. It looks very similar to couscous, but it really is not. It takes quite a, uh, a much longer time to cook. Lots of people will put this in unsoaked, like the dry grain. I'm just doing this, it's a slightly quicker way of doing it really, I've just sort of pre-soaked it. There are actually hundreds of ways of doing this dish, so uh, I'm sure everyone's mum has got the best recipe. Okay, in goes our uh, cooked chana or uh, chickpeas. Then we can put in our tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. I'm going to just add a little bit of salt and pepper at this stage. More pepper than salt to be honest. This is great. And this is going to start to burn very quickly because that is doing its thing. So this is where the stock comes in. What we want to do now, I've got some lamb stock here. Just gonna put that amount in just to cover it. I may add a little more later, but I'll certainly let you know. All right, you need to get the heat on very low now, like a super simmer. It's a stirring. And if we come back in about 10 minutes without disturbing this, which is very important. It will 
done its magic. Okay, let's take a look now. That's looking super. That's looking exactly where I want it to be. I've not added any more stock to this. The bulgas bulked it out a lot. It's still kind of got this real kind of soupy, as you can see, yucky, soupy mess texture, which is exactly what we're after. Okay, now I told you before I had some uh, aubergine, eggplants or brinjal. We're gonna put these on the top now. I've cut these in like kind of, you know, large french fries, should we say, that sort of chunky, chunky chips. Let's just get these all on there. The smell of this is just incredible. I'm, I'm really pleased of how this has come out so far. So the aubergine will go on here. This can still cook for quite a while. We've also got to cook these vegetables. I've also got my uh, zucchini or courgette. Put a few in the centre and then some around the top. The aubergine will cook slightly quicker than the zucchini but these are much bigger I've just these I've just cut these down the center and there's just, just a few bits of uh, sweet pepper or capsicum or bell pepper however you call them I've got some flat leaf parsley I'm gonna put my lid back on we're gonna cook this for about another 15 to 20 minutes on the lowest heat that you can possibly get on your cooking range. And then it should be pretty much ready. Keep a little eye on it because it, it can still burn. That bulgur can still take in some moisture. It won't take in much more now, but it still can. So let's come back in about 20 minutes. See you then. Okay, let's take a look here now. Like I said, this has been on an incredibly low heat. I'm actually gonna turn it off now. I'm delighted with this, how this has come out. As you can see there, I don't want to pull it too much, but it's not burnt at all, which is great. The lamb stock has been taken up by all of that bulga. The vegetables are beautiful. Let me just check out this zucchini. Mm, beautifully cooked. Slightly crunchy, but there. That's it, this will be beautiful. Mm. With some Arabic bread. I'm gonna really enjoy this. Take care, see you soon. Bye. HowToCookGreatFood.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.